the good life. Full of fun. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. What are we making? Where are we going? I'll tell you where we're going to go today. We're going to go to Nona's kitchen, uh, my grandmother's kitchen. She used to make this fun little, um, fun little treat, a little twist on fried dough, and it's it's fried pizza, which is is so fantastic and it's creative and it's imaginative, and you guys can kind of put really any kind of topping you want on it because I don't care what it is. You take dough and you fry it, and that in and of itself, <laughs> that in and of itself is great. But uh, today what I want to do is I want to share with you something that, uh, that Nona would always make, which is, uh, which is just, like I said, it's great, it's fun, it's easy, it's quick, and it's a great treat for the kids. And I'll tell you, it's something fun to make for the kids. So if you can, make the kids part of this, you know, make it part of that uh, fun thing that the family can do, that tradition. You know, they'll always remember it. I remember, I remember making it with my family. So how do we get started here? Easy, simple ingredients, number one. You gotta make us some pizza dough, you know what I'm saying? So I have a recipe on YouTube. I'll put the link right down below here. And uh, you can make your own dough. If not, you're using about a pound of pizza dough. You can buy it at the grocery, you can buy it at a, at a bakery shop, what have you. Sometimes it'll come frozen. Get it up to room temp and a little warmer, let it start to expand. But I've got some nice homemade uh, pizza dough. I let it rise in there with a little uh, olive oil well, you know the one I'm using, Vito and Joe's, and that'll allow it to get some air in there and uh, create some more flavor with the yeast, which is great. I've got here about a pound of a mozzarella, okay? So if you can get the buffalo one, that's great. If not, you know, get some really good quality mozzarella because it's going to it's gonna add to that, that main staple of the, of the flavor of the pizza, which is fantastic. Now, pizza sauce, and here I've got almost two cups of sauce. And I'll tell you a little trick on pizza sauce. What I'll do is I'll take some really good gravy or a, a, a sauce that I've already made, a tomato pasta sauce, and I take two parts of the sauce and I'll take one part of tomato paste. And then what I do is mix that in and it thickens it up and it really intensifies the flavor of that pomodoro, that, that, that tomato. And that's easy. You can add a little flavoring in it if you need to, but my attitude is if you got some really good uh, sauce. We've got a great sauce recipe. I'll put that on the bottom for you as well, that link. And uh, and if you're just concentrating that with some paste, boy, I'll tell you, molto bono. Now when we finish this puppy off, we're going to want a little oregano. Oh, God, I mean, that is just fantastic. And I've got some thyme in there as well. And I probably got a teaspoon. Boy, that's delicious. Now we want to really kick it up with some basil, you know. So I went to the store today. I got some fresh basil. And that is just, isn't that fantastic? And there's nothing better than that. So I want to show you how to use that so you're, you're actually grabbing some within the sauce, but then you're adding that fresh basil right on the top when it comes out, okay? We're going to add a little uh, salt. I use uh, either a gray sea salt or a pink Himalayan. Why do I use pink Himalayan? Because it's sexy and it tastes great. It's filled with those great little minerals and got a little bit of an earthy brine to it. We're going to use some fresh ground pepper. Oh, if you can, always go with the fresh ground pepper. You can't beat it. And then we're going to use some olive oil. I always do my plug here. I've got a farm in Italy, Puglia, Italy, right above the heel, right on the East Coast. And that's where our farm is. And that's where we co-op with some farms to bring you really what I consider the best olive oil on the planet. It's Vito and Joe's. So I have two boys, Vito and Joe. And they're all Italian olives. They're picked. It's pressed within the first day. And you guys can get it right on our Cooking Italian with Joe website, or you can get it right off of Facebook. And uh, just order, we sell it in a liter, half a liter bottle. We drop ship it right to your house. I call it a trip to Italy right in the bottle. So let's get started. I've got the oven preheated at 400 degrees, and I've got a cast iron pan on here, and I've got about just shy of a half inch of olive oil, Vito and Joe's olive oil, right in there, which I'm gonna start cranking with the heat because I wanted about 375 degrees, 350, 375 to fry our pizza, okay? And I gotta start making some individual little pizzas. So let me set up my counters, talk to you guys in a minute. Now I've got some flour just to prevent the sticking and I've got in here about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup. I like to use the non-bleached unenriched flour, okay, some organic flour, always great quality, which is what I always use for my pizza dough, okay? And now I've got my dough, which is on its second rise, all right? And I've got some olive oil in there. And I'm gonna take some flour, pop it down, just to prevent it from sticking, okay? And then I'm gonna pull that out, 
and see it's just got that nice little aeration to it and simply pull with a knife I'm gonna cut it in four pieces so you got about a pound of dough here okay so that's gonna give me four individual if you will small pizzas and just get it covered on both sides and then with your hands you're gonna make a nice round pizza you get the middle thinner keep the outside with a little bit of thickness to it so you got a little structure with your crust there you go look at that hey how you doing isn't that beautiful i'm gonna go ahead and make the rest okay we're all set how you doing i feel like i'm in brooklyn making pizzas you don't have to worry about making them perfectly round in fact i kind of like to make them a little odd shape if you want to make them perfectly around that's totally okay and then we've got the oil going right now it's about 375 i can i can smell that olive oil I can smell it in the air, it's absolutely delicious. So what do you say, we meet right over the stove and start frying some dough. Okay, our pan's hot, ready to go with a little olive oil. I got my four pizzas. Now a couple of things, watch the kids, obviously you're dealing with hot oil. Secondly, get some tongs, get a place where you're gonna set the pizzas, maybe with a little paper towel off to the side or a rack just to let the oil drain. Don't leave these unattended. In other words, they're gonna cook relatively quick with the hot oil on their thin, okay? Lastly, I'll tell you a great tip to get these to come out great is if you subscribe to our channel. How do you like that plug? So right down here, there's a red button. When you subscribe to that, any of my new trips, new recipes, any new video posts, any great information we're posting to our website at Cooking Italian with Joe, it'll come right in your notification box. And I'll tell you, when you subscribe, it certainly means something to me. And I like to make a part of the family, you know what I'm saying? So what do you say we get frying here? We're gonna take our first pizza. And we're gonna set it right in that pan. See how she's starting to bubble right there, perfect. I'm thinking butter, sugar, and cinnamon right now too, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> okay, it's been about two minutes. You see how that's just starting to brown there? So I'm gonna give it a nice flip over. Oh, there you go. She's got a nice crisp to it. And I'm gonna flip it one more time just to get that back side there. A few spots that I want to crisp up a little bit. I want to try to get as much of that brown, golden, it's gonna give you that nice texture. So I'm all set. So I'm gonna set that over here on my paper towel. Pick which side you want as the bottom of the back. Don't worry about getting cold because we're gonna pop it in the oven, okay? And then what I'm gonna immediately do is I'm gonna hit it, I wanna, I wanna season and layer. So I wanna hit it with a little bit of salt, okay? And then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of cracked, freshly, Brown pepper. And we're good to go. All right, one down, three to go. I'll tell you, boy, it smells good in here, doesn't it? Did you guys subscribe yet? You guys get some oil yet? I'm gonna go ahead and fry the rest of them. I'll talk to you guys in a couple minutes. How are those guys looking? Awesome. Oh, I'll tell you, that is good. All right, so I'm gonna prep this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a few leaves of my basil. So just to spruce up my sauce a little, you wanna roll these up and then just Give a nice, really fine cut on the basil. Oh my God, the smell in here, unbelievable. And then I'm gonna mix that right in my sauce and then give that a stir. Okay, we're ready for awesomeness now. So I wanna show you how to layer these. We're gonna pop them in the oven. All right, so we're gonna start with our sauce. Take about one, I've got a big spoon in here. I'm gonna equally divide it. Oh, look at that. See how the consistency of that is perfect? Just with that, that tomato paste, it's just a little trick. Boy, it tastes great, you know, and you really get, and that's what you want with tomato or pizza sauce. You want a really intense tomato flavor without, you know, a ton of sauce. And now what you're gonna do, you like a lot of cheese, you don't like a lot of cheese. You know, we got three beautiful size slices here. Oh, perfect. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of that oregano. Just, again, just a pinch. It'll melt and marry right into everything in there. And if it's dry, which this is, a little goes a long way. So again, just go light on it. Same thing with our thyme. Just again, just a pinch. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of pink Himalayan. Some more fresh ground pepper. So see how we're hitting those layers, right? Now I'm gonna drizzle them with a little bit of that Vito and Joe's olive oil. Trip to Italy in about. Just a little bit. And that's gonna give you a nice flavor. I'll tell you the smell here is fantastic. So the other thing you can do is if you got a couple of nice leaves of the basil, I like to hit them on top with some fresh right when they come out, because it's hot. But the other thing I like to do is I like to get a couple of small ones and put them on now, just in the sauce. And boy, we're ready to go. Doesn't that look great? So it's off to the oven. 
400 degrees, you're gonna go at least 10 minutes, maybe 15. What we're looking for is the pizza to get hot, I want the cheese to melt, and I want some bubbling action to go on top. Then I know I'm perfect. Never trust yourself, always use a timer. Give you time to subscribe, jump right online and buy a bottle of olive oil. Talk to you guys in a minute. Okay, it's been just over 10 minutes. Oh my God, that's fantastic. I know you guys can't smell that right now, but boy, if I had smell-o-vision, Oh my God, I'd love to put that right in the camera. I'm just gonna throw it with a nice, beautiful basil right on there when it's hot. Boy, these look good, don't they? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these. I got some picks, pop that on a plate. Get these ready for the troops, because they're gonna be coming in. And I'll tell you the smell in here, just alone. I mean, you get the basil, the thyme, the oregano, and you know, the dough, that pizza dough with, the, with that fry, and the sauce, oh. And the mozzarella and so let's get in here. Let's take a piece of this baby. So I gotta get a piece with the with my mozzarella, right? Look at that, right? A little sauce, maybe a little piece of basil on there. Look at that perfect bite. Is that awesome or what? Ooh! Mmm. Nope. We'll try it right away. You get that crunch that you can't get with a you know with a baked pizza. It's that fried dough crunch and that fried dough fill and the sauce. With the thyme, the oregano, and the basil just starts to fill your mouth. And then as you chew with the mozzarella, and everything just starts to marry. Mmm. Yeah, I'm having two. What a beautiful way to enjoy a pizza. Now that's a fried pizza or a, a pizza frita, a pizza frittato, right? So that's truly a fried pizza, which is absolutely delicious. Brings me right back, right into my grandmother's kitchen. You know, that's why I love bringing these recipes to you, because it just brings me back to those to those traditions of my family, you know, and the heritage that we could celebrate. And certainly that's why I love bringing that to you guys. Guys, don't forget, jump right on that red button right there with vengeance. Click it. Subscribe to our channel. Love to have you part of the family. Make sure you guys check us out on Cooking Italian with Joe or on our Facebook. Grab yourself a bottle of olive oil. Vito and Joe's will ship it right to your house. It's truly a trip to Italy right in a bottle. And thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget, shut off the electronics the TV, the cell phone, spend some time with your kids in the kitchen. They're not gonna be around forever. Set those traditions, celebrate your heritage. I'm excited to talk to you guys next week. Good Until life. then, mwah, bon appetito. Full of fun seems to be the ideal.